Hey, I'm Mike with Woodcraft716.com, and today I'm going to show you how to build these scrap wood projects, these coat hooks that are super easy to make. I know you can make them, and it's all just scrap wood. If you're new to this channel, we do tips and tricks, we do some business end, we do tool reviews, and of course we do build videos. So go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you can stay informed with all the new content we have coming out. And just like that, let's get started. The first one we'll make is this burnt looking one. It's real rustic, super easy to make. I have this one by 10, it's about five feet long. It's just some scrap I had laying around. It's one of the cheaper pieces of pine. It's got knots in it. And we're just gonna cut an inch and a half off of the far end. I'm just gonna take our fence and set it to six inches. Then I'll run this piece through one more time and that'll be our final width. Then it's over to the miter saw. We'll take our one and a half inch piece and cut two pieces at 30 inches. Then we'll just take our five footer and we'll cut them down to 10 and a half inch pieces. Then we'll just take our wood rasp and hammer away on the sides of these things. We'll try and make them somewhat imperfect. We won't round over the edge or anything. We're just gonna really scuff it up and make it look rustic. And we'll do the same thing to our long narrow strips just on the outside. Okay, now I'm just gonna carefully use a torch and torch the edges of these things. I'm just going to do one side first. I'm going to leave them outside overnight and I'm going to keep an eye on the shop for a while. I'll be out here for a while, so I'm not worried about a fire. Just be careful when you do this. Torch it up, make it look nice, and you'll be good to go. Okay, these dried overnight. Now we're just going to glue up the edges of them, glue our strips on, and shoot a couple brad nails in. Next, I just got a couple of these drywall anchors and we're gonna put two holes in at three inch at the tops so that they can mount this to the wall. Now we'll just put a quick coat of polycrylic on. Seal this up real good so none of this soot comes off in the customer's home. So I just got some of these double-sided clothes hooks and uh, I'm gonna space them out evenly on the two outside boards and the middle board. And I'm just going to screw them on by hand and uh, this thing should be good to go. Now we'll make this one. It's got three hooks and a shelf. A little border around the edges looks super nice, super easy to make. I'll just start by taking this one by 10 and cutting two pieces at 30 inches. Then we'll come over to the table saw and we'll take one of our pieces and rip a four inch strip for the shelf on top. Then we'll take the leftover from that and cut three strips at one and five eighths. Then we're gonna take one of our strips and cut two pieces at nine and a quarter out of it. Then we're just gonna take the back panel and give it a quick sanding so once it's assembled, we don't have to worry about this part. And from here, we're just gonna take our side pieces, glue them on and shoot a couple brad nails in it. And then we'll just nibble these longer pieces down until they fit in there good. Then I'm just going to come in an inch and a half from the top on each side and drill our pilot holes for our anchors. Just like that. Then we're just going to hit the whole thing with the sander. We're going to sand all the edges around it and the shelf. And we may even round off the corners on the shelf uh, just so it's a little smoother looking. Then I'm just going to take some hand sandpaper and take off the sharp edges. Now we'll just come in an inch and a half from each end. And we'll put a mark at the center of that backboard. Then we'll drill our countersink holes and we'll be good to go. Then we'll just glue it and put our screws in. All right, now this thing's ready for stain. We're gonna stain it up. I'm just using some red mahogany that I had laying around and uh, we're gonna cover this thing up. After the stain was all dried, I put a coat of polycrylic on. And after that dried, we just spaced out our hardware evenly and we put three hooks on it. The last style we're gonna do are these ones that kind of look like a subway tile. They didn't come out quite the way I thought they would, but they look pretty good. Okay, we're gonna start this one off by taking a piece of one by 10 and ripping it into one and a half inch strips. And then it's over to the miter saw where we're gonna take our sticks and cut them into random lengths. 
anywhere from say four inches to 18 inches. We're just gonna chop them up and get them ready for routering. All right, now we got the router set up with the eighth inch round over and we're just gonna hit all four edges on the face side. We're gonna work these things over and we're gonna get through this whole pile in no time. Did you see how good these bench cookies worked out? <laughs> I'll put a card at the end to a video where we can make these super cheap and easy. I just set the fence to five and five eighths. I'm gonna rip this piece of 3 16 ply and uh, use it for a backing. Okay, I've laid them all out upside down so the routered edge is facing down. I marked off the back of my board and I'm just gonna glue them and then put some uh, brad nails in it and hold it together. We'll trim off the end after and make it look even. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing to the 30 incher. And now we'll just trim off the sides, making both sides. Now we'll just router these edges that we just cut real quick and then uh, give it a sanding. Now we'll just hit it with some 120 sandpaper, try to take off any pencil marks we have on it, uh, check the edges and we'll be good to go. And just like the last one, we're going to put our countersink hole in the top of each corner. Okay, I'm just going to stain the bigger one with uh, Colonial Maple. I'm just going to try to get inside all the cracks, get this thing good to go. And for the last one here, we're just going to use espresso. Okay, I've just gone ahead and polycrylic this one, just like before, and we're going to pre-drill our holes and put on our hooks. And here they are, man. I think they came out awesome. So we have our burnt one, our red mahogany, our plain one, and our espresso. And I think they all came out great. And just think that all these were just made with some scrap wood. If you had to buy the materials, I'm figuring probably two eight foot one by tens would do it for you. But super easy to make. I know you can make it. If you're interested in any of the products I use to make these, I'll have a link in the description below to where you can check this stuff out. If you got any value out of this and you want to see more woodworking videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified of all the new content as it comes out. And remember to always create and inspire. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.